Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroute your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. This is the latest method. I will, um, as more methods come, I will do updated videos. But as of right now, this is the latest method to unroute your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So here we go. Um, mine is rooted on stock. As you can see, I have Super User right there. Um, you want to unroute for any reason whatsoever, whether you want to take it back to Sprint uh, or anything, or you just want to go back to stock. You don't want to be rooted anymore. So what we're going to need to do, obviously, is um, first of all, what I'm going to recommend doing is powering off your device. Let's go ahead and power off your phone. Uh, you will actually need to restore. If you guys do recall, when you first rooted your phone, if you watched my how to root video, you made a Nandroid backup after you rooted. So I hope you guys did a stock Nandroid backup. If you did not, I will link to where you can get a Nandroid backup from that you can basically put in your twerp folder and then uh, restore that Android backup, courtesy of my man, Wordly Wise Wiz. Uh, big thanks to him and shout out to him for getting these Nandroids together. So I will link to those if you don't have one. But anyways, we're gonna need to go into our uh, custom recovery, our Torp recovery. Press and hold, volume down, volume up, and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of those buttons. Keep it held down. It'll take us into the bootloader. As you can see, I am now in the bootloader. So what we're gonna need to do is press the volume down button, press it once, but twice. So press the volume down button twice until we go into recovery mode. Press that power button. So go ahead and press the power button. It will go ahead and reboot uh, reboot us into twerp recovery, our custom recovery now. All right, as you can see, I'm now in team win recovery. So what we need to do is, um, I don't know why it took me into settings, but anyways, what we need to do is go ahead and press the restore button right here. So go ahead and press restore, and then we have uh, basically a package here that we need to restore. So select this package. Um, it takes a while, there we go. So we have this package, basically we have our system data and boot backed up, so we are going to swipe to restore, and what it's gonna do is go ahead and it'll actually format everything for us, so we don't need to wipe anything before doing this. Uh, when you restore an Android, so they actually format everything for you first. So as you can see, it's going to do a, a full restore and restore basically where we were at stock. If you do recall during our how to root um, method, after we first got this recovery flash, before we flashed the super user zip, we made an Android backup. So we are restoring that Android backup that is unrooted. So uh, once we are done there, we'll still have our twerp recovery, which we need to get rid of. So I will show you how to do that next. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it restore. It'll take a bit of time, but I'll be back once it's done. All right, and as you can see, restore complete, successful. Our Android restore was successful. Um, so what I'm going to recommend doing is hitting the back button, hitting the back arrow down here in the bottom right, hitting it again, and then go ahead and uh, hit reboot in the bottom right here. Hit the reboot button, and then just go ahead and hit reboot system. Uh, the reason being, actually what you can do is hit reboot bootloader if you want, but I recommend rebooting your system just to, just because we are going to want to let the, the full system boot up and load up. Um, that's highly recommended. So I do recommend rebooting your system first, letting it boot on up. The first boot up is going to take a while since it's a full uh, restore, so it's going to take a bit of time, a little bit longer than usual. So be patient with that first boot up, but once you boot up, you should be back to stock where you were when you first made that Android backup. So I'll be back once it boots up. All right, as you can see, my Sprint Galaxy Nexus has booted back up, and I should be back to complete stock. Um, I'll go to my app drawer. As you can see, I do not have super user in my app drawer anymore. I also had a couple of apps installed, such as ES File Explorer. That's not there anymore. That is because I basically restored a ROM back, uh, the stock ROM. So I'm completely back to stock, but not really because I don't have stock recovery yet. I still have twerp recovery, which I need to get rid of. So I will uh, show you now how to get rid of twerp recovery. All right, so the first step we need to get our stock recovery back, what we're gonna need to do is just go ahead and power off our device. So go ahead and hit the power off button, and we're gonna actually need to go back into that bootloader into fast boot mode. Um, so what we need to do is let it power off, and then go ahead and press and hold all three of the buttons again, the volume down, volume up, and power button. Press and hold all three of them, take us into the bootloader, get into fast boot mode. So there we have it, uh, takes us into there. Just go ahead and plug in our phone into our PC now. So go ahead and just plug that on in. Um, might as well have that all set to go. So we'll, once we're done there, go ahead and click on the, that link in the description of the video to get to the stock recovery file. 
and the link will take you to the AC Syndicate forums as you can see right here. Just go ahead and scroll down. I went ahead and posted a link. Shout out to Chevy Penguin for this. So you'll see where it says stock recovery. Click on this link right here um, and it will be called recovery.img actually. Um, it should go into your downloads folder. So once it's done there, go ahead and go into your downloads folder and you'll see it's called recovery right here. So it'll look like this recovery. Um, once you see this recovery file here, what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and just navigate to where it's at. Mine's in my downloads folder. Um, just go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard, right click and hit, uh, um, sorry, mine didn't pop up. Hold shift, right click and hit uh, open command window here. So select that, it'll open a command prompt actually, a command prompt to your PC. So we are ready to go. So first of all, we're gonna need to make sure our, our uh, PC recognizes our device that we plugged in, type in fast boot devices. And it should show up a bunch of numbers right there to let us know fast boot has recognized our, uh, our device. So all we have to do is type in fast boot flash recovery, recovery.img, and that's it. So that's all we have to do. Obviously this recovery.img is the name of that recovery file we just downloaded. So there we go. So all we have to do is hit enter now. And what it's gonna do is send the stock recovery to our device. So we are, um, we are done there. We're actually not done yet, unfortunately. We still have a little bit left to do. We need to now type in uh, fast boot Fastboot OEM lock, that is it. So what that's gonna do is go ahead and relock our bootloaders. So what that means is obviously our bootloader is gonna be locked again. If you do wanna root again, you have to unlock your bootloader again. So, but the command is fastboot OEM lock, hit enter. It's gonna go ahead and just lock our bootloader. It should be done. I will let you know in just a second if it uh, wipes your your internal storage and data. I don't know yet if it does, but I will uh, check now. So now what we can do is just type in fastboot reboot. And what it's gonna do is go ahead and reboot our phone. So as you can see, my uh, Galaxy Nexus is now booting up, but it does not have that little padlock down here. So it's not unlocked anymore, it's, it's relocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this boot up and I will be back. All right, and now it has rebooted and it did not wipe my data, it did not wipe my internal storage. Relocking my bootloader did not do that. Only unlocking your bootloader will do that. So just kind of keep that in mind. So you don't have to worry about losing any data whatsoever with locking your bootloader. But that is it actually, we are done. So we are on the stock ROM, we are also, um, we also have stock recovery and we also are locked, our bootloader is locked. So to show you why I'm on stock recovery, I'm gonna show you real quick. All right, so as you can see, I'm back in my bootloader. I'm gonna press the volume down button twice to get into recovery mode and select it. And what it's gonna do is reboot me into my recovery, but it's gonna be stock recovery. I will not have twerp anymore once this, uh, once this boots up. So as you can see, no more padlock. Of course, we are locked. And then here we go. It should be basically Android guy with a triangle. So there you have it. So if for any reason you wanna get into stock recovery, I think you can press all three buttons at the same time. And as you can see, stock Android recovery will light up. If you ever do need to navigate through stock Android recovery, you use the volume up and down button to navigate and the power button to select. So if you ever need to do a wipe data factory reset, just go to it and select it with the power button. So in case you need to do that, but you can just hit reboot system now with the power button. So in case you wanted to double check and make sure you had stock recovery, my method didn't, You just to double check to make sure my method worked, make sure that you are uh, locked as well, but that would be it. So now that is the latest and greatest method to relock your uh, Galaxy Nexus, your Sprint Galaxy Nexus, as well as unrooted. So there you have it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video below. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.